Thank you for joining us for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight, the Monday Morning Pulse Report for seafood purchasers. Some fast facts to start this week. Newfoundland and Labrador producers had record snow crab sales this year. Increased demand saw exports to Asian markets increase 10% to 15,000 metric tons over last year. California Laligo squid is starting to come in more consistently. Prices are still high and will likely stay that way because of the global shortage overall. And redfish raw materials prices have gone through the roof. Recent quotes out of China are $6,000 per metric ton. This is so high that many processors aren't even considering it right now. In news this week, Fraser River fishermen received good news last week. There are enough sockeye returning to justify limited access commercial fishery. Gillnet fishermen were granted a three hour window to catch fish. Latest estimates are that a total of 3.2 million sockeye will be returning. That's a big drop from last year's 30 million fish. But if numbers keep coming in strong, we can expect more openings in the weeks ahead. Fraser River fishermen can also expect to look forward to an abundant pink salmon run this year, which is forecasted at about 17.5 million fish. However, fishermen will have to wait until Fraser River sockeye escapement numbers have been met before the government opens up the pink fishery. Last week we reported that pink salmon catches in Alaska were up and down depending on the region. Well, it's incredible how much can change in just a week. The southeast region, which had allowed, slowed down substantially since early in the season, got a much anticipated boost. Nine million fish were harvested in the first week of August alone. And the biggest news on pink salmon is what's happening in Russia, where landings are smashing historical records. Increased supply out of Russia is likely to put a bit of downward pressure on prices. Also in the news, East Coast Canadian shrimp landings have now reached 81% of the annual catch. The quota is lower than last year by about 16 million pounds, and while prices rose over the last several months, they now do appear to have stabilized. For example, prices for the 250-350 count Borealis shrimp are ranging from 450 to 477 per pound. Prices on West Coast shrimp, the Pandalus jordani species, are a bit lower. 250-350 to 350 count shrimp are going for 395 to 410 per pound. And finally, I'm hearing from our suppliers that it's been hard to get Alaskan cod raw material, even when offering to pay $400 more than the average price. This means moving forward, finished product is bound to become more expensive. For every $100 increase on raw material price, translates into 10 cents more per pound on finished product. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight this is Ken Radcliffe, buy smart and eat more seafood.